Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. My recent diss track got deleted by the school. I've had to come out here, Rora, live in the woods, fend off myself. They're coming for me. Oh my God. Now I've relocated to Herefordshire, where I'm gonna have to live off the land. This is an unforgiving environment where literally tens of people sprain their ankles every year. I'm gonna have to use all the knowledge I've gained from watching Bear Grylls late on Saturday night for takeaway pizza and this North Face cap knowledge gives me to survive. Now when you're in the wild, you need to find energy sources from any place. You can't be fussy when it comes to food. Right now I'm just looking, this is quite a moist area of land. Now it's, it's it's normally bugs and grubs that you'll find. Oh, it's a bag of Doritos. Yeah. Now you need to be quiet watching out for other predators when you're snacking. Mmm. These are filled with protein, which actually has more protein than a, than a cow. This should carry us to our next large meal. Hey. When you're in the wilds, you always need to make sure that you're in shelter against dangerous animals. Now I'm here in the wilds, so I need shelter against dangerous animals. To build a shelter, it's quite simple. Everything starts with an A-frame. Basically, you've got to put sticks up against a tree, and then lots of sticks, and then you pretty much just get underneath here. A few leaves, and that's about it. I'm gonna finish off this and I'll show you when it's done. After many hours of building, I've managed to make a structure. Welcome to my crib. Come on in. Da, 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 da. I'm loving it. Right here, I've got the stove, Gucci. Then we've got some logs. Oh, don't touch that with your fingers. Here's the bed, pretty comfy. Oh, see you later. Enjoy, ladies. There you go. So we are back cooking. It's been a while. Some things have happened, some bad things, but we're cooking. And today it's a different type of cooking because look what we're cooking on. Pretty good. All right, so we're going to be making a curry. All right, pretty good, pretty simple curry. Easy, pretty much. Onion, caraway seeds, cumin seeds, garlic, chili. In that pan, give it oil, and just mix it around. You've got no heat control, so your heat control is, you haven't got any. All right, so now we're gonna be adding the chicken thighs to the onions. These are just thighs cut up, quarters, Lovely flavour, better than breast. Breast can literally just oh, go away. Into there, mix it up, fry it off. Bish, wash, bang, curry. Now we're going to add a bit of Sherwood's uh, tikka masala sauce in here, in there. Just for ease of cooking, really. Still got all the nice flavours from the onions earlier. Just mix that around. Bish, wash, bang, delicious. Get in my belly. So we're going up to the final stages. We've got the curry stooging away nicely. Lovely. Bar the nan bread cooking in that tin foil. And the bar she's just toasting off under them flames. Love it. So, oh shit. <laughs> so here we have the final Indian feast. We've got the curry, the bhaji, the rice, the nan bread, the rata, the poppadom. It's a madness. Christ. So <laughs> This is how you make a campsite meal, all right? This is how it's supposed to be done. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to go down and like it. Subscribe. We're growing this channel every single day. It's a madness. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.